embrace of this economic radicalism was an entire revolution with disastrous results for ordinary people. And we all continue to live with its catastrophic effects. And it was so, I mean, she's a true ideologue on this stuff. Like they were all in on this. And as I played in that interview, like she was hard line. Mm -hmm. No, you're going to see the results. It's going to result in growth. They're going to, you know, young people are ultimately going to love it, all this stuff. And then it was so bad for her. She was really failing with it. It was probably going to re be rejected by her own party. She right. had to reverse Which is so course. crazy. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of wishing that was going to happen because I really want her government to fall and I can't stand her. I mean, look, here's what I think is going to happen. Super I, hawkish and yeah, terrible right. on economics. This is not an original thought. I'm borrowing it from Ross. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to return to Thatcherism. Labor Party is going to beat them just like they beat Thatcher. Personally, though, I don't think that labor is going to address like the cultural undertones that the Britain and the U the entire European continent is rejecting right now. And then we're going to have more like UKIP-styled Nigel Farage. Probably. And it's just like an endless cycle that we thought that's why, you know, look, I hate to say it, but I was kind of excited about Theresa May. A lot of people don't remember this. She ran on a whole new type of, like, conservatism over there. It was called, like, reform conservatism. It was kind of like a, uh, like, it was like understanding Brexit, solving the problems. Boris kind of took it to its logical conclusion after she screwed up Brexit and calling that special election. He won that historic victory amongst all his voters. But then what happens? Both Ukraine and continuing tax cuts in his legacy is then Liz Truss actually beating him, promising tax cuts to more of the conservative party members. So the kind of the lesson of Brexit has been totally forgotten and we're just going to replay this whole story all over again. So in a lot of ways, I think it's just like the U.S. It's like Biden is the Liz Truss, you know? And, it's yeah. like, and then we're just going to go right back I mean, to whatever started in the first place. I don't know that I would equate. Yeah. They're, they're not exactly the same. Biden has not done his big tax cuts for the rest. This is more equivalent to like what Trump did with his Paul Ryan tax cuts and totally undercut mm -hmm. his like his uh, presentation in 2016, like, oh, I'm the guy who's gonna champion the working class and I'm gonna change this like Reaganomics that yeah. has dominated the uh, Republican conservatives for years and years and years. They tried to make that shift, but then ultimately they're so captured by, you know, um, sort of wealthy elites and also this constellation of super ideological, truly radical think tanks that they weren't able to make that pivot and continue to just you know, if you look at his, what's the what's the Kevin McCarthy promise to America? Promise is that what America, it's called? Yeah, I mean, you could this could be I from think, 1994. It could right. be from 1986. It could be from any year in my entire lifetime. It sounds exactly the same. So that's in my view right. what is more analogous to. Absolutely. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing, and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.